extraordinarily and talented and beautiful. Hello, Connell. Hey! be so tired of hearing people say to you, you look terrific. That's the first thing everybody says to uh, you. How could you ever be tired of a thing like that? Yeah, I guess you you're know right. better to say it to you, too, I'm sure. Well, with me, it's all it's all makeup and hairdo, you know, but with, <laughs> but with you, it's the real thing. <laughs> is, is there any regimen that you uh, adhere to, if that doesn't sound too painful? A couple I'd like to, but no, it's just work, work, work. I just work a lot. Uh, you I don't, don't know do push-ups or... Them. Uh, well, or any of that I think I should do a lot of those things. And I always have good intentions. I make New Year's resolutions every year and never... Okay, same list every year. <clears throat> never finish one of them. Never do it. But I love to exercise. I just haven't slowed down enough to do it lately. I used to. Uh, I guess genetics has a lot to do with it. Some people fall apart early and some late. And that's show business, right? I Pat? do push-ups right in a whole barrel of wheat germ. I do. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps me feeling good. But, uh, but a, lot of, a lot of it has to do with gen genetics. Irish, good old Irish. They moved in next to us about three months ago. They gave us all a secret. The genetics? Yes. Yeah, nice folks. This is Fred, yeah. You all are so funny, I came out here to slow things down. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're very witty yourself. Like Pat, you have that quick Irish humor. Like Pat? Now yeah. I've got to say something funny. No. I can't think of a thing. <laughs> But you do have it like me. Show them. <laughs> Say something funny, Helen. Can you remember, we were asking all this week on the show, can you remember the first time you ever professionally sang, or sang even unprofessionally, publicly? Oh, I sang since I could talk, I guess. Professionally? No, it was an amateur show. Let's see. Uh, how about the first night I sang with a band professionally? All right. Because up, up to then it was pretty dull. Um, <laughs> It was pretty dull after that for a while, too. So, uh, first night I ever walked onto a bandstand professionally, they were expecting my sister. <coughs> Why? Because they hired her. <laughs> it's a reasonable, it's a reasonable expectation, yeah. yeah. And, uh, Understandable. She was the tall, pretty uh, one who sang well, you see, and uh, she eloped. So I took the two gowns and I went. 
But anyway, that night, I walked out on the, on the stand, and uh, I said, what do you want me to do? And the manager of the band said, just sit there and smile till it's your turn. I, you know, <laughs> when I, and I had a, an awful lot of green eye shadow on. It has nothing to do with green eyes. I had never heard of green eyes at mm. that time. But I used to dance, and so when we would do these modern dances and everything, when you're 13, you put on a lot of makeup like kids to do. To look now, Oh, yes. So, and he said, when it's your turn, get up and sing. I, well, I don't know my turn. I don't know... And they used to vamp for 10 minutes because I didn't know when my chorus was. <laughs> they play the first chorus and say, okay. And I walk over there and they go, do, 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 da, 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 da. And I go, mm, mm. And I finally would sing. It was embarrassing. But uh, between sets, the girls who were always after the musicians, I don't know if you know that or not. We will find out what the girls did with the musicians. No, we won't. Oh, we no, won't. No, we won't. Then <laughs> that's tough, folks. We'll be right back anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Isn't that great? Yeah, I wish they wouldn't stop him right in the middle of... I think I'm all sorry. of us ought to sit over there and they ought to put the band here and do that show. <laughs> Not necessarily about this group. We got the musicians again, huh? Yeah. Great. Not you supposed to applaud that, folks. <laughs> <laughs> well, they just made Very, the very wrong reaction. They liked the trumpet solo they were just hearing. Right? Oh, I see. Well, okay, I'll let it pass this time. But... Okay, fine. <laughs> Helen, you uh, like Pat and Dick and... Uh... I certainly do. <laughs> <laughs> well, then that takes care of that. <laughs> but you seem so self-assured. You, you started out singing with bands, and, and uh, that's both great duty, and sometimes there are rough nights in small towns when it's raining, whatever. You've been through the show business mill, as we say. Uh, are you ever nervous on stage, or have you ever been? I'm always nervous really? on stage. You don't really look at it. I really? never was when I first started out, but after I quit the business and then came back into the business, uh -huh. oh, my dear, it was just dreadful. I still am. Really? I don't know why I don't look at it, because I really am terribly nervous on stage. You when I sing, uh -huh. not when <clears throat> I'm not singing, I could go on and do a play, I could talk, I do Miss USA, Miss Universe, fine. But when I have to sing, <laughs> Isn't that strange? And that's yeah. what you do so great. I mean, that's what you're known for. I you know? know it. That's what makes me nervous. I don't know what it that's is. That's strange. It, I... It's not as bad as it used to be. When I first went back, I thought seriously of slitting my wrist. Anything. <laughs> my goodness. It's just, and, you know, I'd look at the paper and say, so-and-so tried to kill herself. I'd close the paper and think, I mustn't look at that today. <laughs> you mm. know, because it was... Maybe she I had something. I remember doing eight or nine shows a day with mm. Martin and Lewis, and I was thinking every show, how do I get on the next time? Now, how am I going to get on the next time? That's strange. And I get in the elevator to mm. go down, and I thought to myself one day, well, it's just like going into the delivery room. You can't say I changed my mind. That, mm. doesn't, that doesn't happen now, does it? You're not that way you still to this day? You, were you nervous before you get on saying that song? Uh, not as much as usually, but yes. How do you feel nowadays about going into a delivery room? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I forgot what it feels like now. I just let my children do that now. Uh, are you ever nervous, Pat, before you go on? Yes, doing our show? Yes, yeah. I am. Uh, really? uh, I find myself in a very, uh, very uh, kind of a unique position in our show. I have to come out and do, um, you know, four or five pages of, of uh, quick, fast comedy relief after the story's been laid out or mm -hmm. after there's been seven pages of drama. And I feel that responsibility, and I'm frequently very nervous before I go on. Hmm. And I, you know, you try to hide it, uh, or sure. you know, redirect it, or rationalize it, but you can't. You Why go not? out, and you do it, <laughs> and you try to yeah. just to hide the nervousness. Now, Dick, I'll be amazed if you tell me you're nervous before no. you go on. One time only in the last two years. I was just thinking about when you said that, because I have spent 30 years in the television studio, so I'm very comfortable with all of this. But I, I do a game show, and they let me play the game twice. And I thought about it. It's a sort of a game. As a guest, you mean? As, as one of the participants right. instead of the host. I watch them all the time. And my hands dripped. Um, I shook all over. You know, and the obligation you was... shook? I shaked. I shook. That could be a vitamin oh. deficiency. <laughs> <laughs> it's not nerves. I was so afraid that I would do all the dumb things that I see happen to people <laughs> that I would do, you know, and say, oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> it didn't happen. No, scared. it is a terrible thing when, when you mm. get that way. And it's hard How about to you? get over it. No. I'm never nervous on my own shows, and I'm not nervous on this kind of a show because I, you know, did this for a living for so long. But uh, sometimes just the five minutes before I walk on in Las Vegas or walk on in a Broadway play or something that is it's not... Different. It's, it's different. It's different out you know. there. And when, when I was doing the Today That's Show or here's Hollywood interviewing people, 
uh, that didn't bother me. I enjoyed it. I got so carried away with what I was doing. I was so interested. But when mm -hmm. you're standing there all by yourself, and no one to talk to, and maybe you're not that interested in what... I don't know what it is, but that's when I get nervous. Hmm. I've got somebody to talk to or something to do. It's fun. I discovered... Uh, I had a period seven years ago where I was nervous, like for three years before performing, and I couldn't understand it because it's not, quote, like me, end quote. I'm not... Did you, what did you do? <laughs> now, come on, it's not a... I, I know, finally no. figured it out. Right. Um, I need more sleep than the average person. I need like 10 and 11 hours a night. And sometimes if you work, you know, they have you doing interviews and playing golf or whatever, and I don't get the sleep. So mm -hmm. very often, just before showtime, I would feel like that. And to make up... That would make you nervous. Not that. Now, come on. Pat. No, seriously, I thought maybe it was a symptom. That no, no, it wasn't the exhaustion. To counteract the exhaustion, I did the old American thing, a couple of Cokes and a cup of coffee. And then I would go on like this. I didn't I, know that was the old American thing. <laughs> well, I mean, a lot of people, if they're beat, they quick cigarette and a cup of coffee. I don't smoke, so with me it was Coca-Colas and coffee or Pepsis and coffee. And I finally realized it was the caffeine making me nervous. So I stopped all that, and I, now I'm not nervous anymore. It's not that You're just like you are tonight, just kind of real dull, dull and down. And down. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, uh, <laughs> the doctor will be in to treat us all in just a moment now. <laughs> this is the waiting room. We're in here. And I feel terrific. My reflexes are just... Look at it. Look at it. Everything. You know, my, you, you mentioned at the outset the, mm -hmm. the live shows and nerves and everything and, and mistakes that happen on live shows. This is not one. I have to tidy it up a little bit. <laughs> I used to do a live show with kids who had never performed on television. They made records, but they never performed on television. Mm -hmm. I introduced a fellow one night little girls are screaming and yelling in their bobby socks and pigtails. Ah! A teenage Ali came up and threw up over the first row in the <laughs> Live in glorious black and white. Now that's nerves. Wow. Yes. I mean, can you imagine what What, you, uh, oh. what had he I had for lunch? Think yeah. about <laughs> come on, sir. Come on. I, I'm pretty much all right unless I go get my hair done just before I'm going on a show and my hairdresser always says, you mean you're going to do a show out there in front of all those people? <laughs> said, well, I was. She said, oh. He gets you nervous. He right? said, I couldn't do that, kid. And he's calling away. He said, if I did that, I'd die. And I got my sister on I think I'll go hit him. Yeah, hey, quick story about a guy. I, I go to visit a, a big, big star in Las Vegas who has to remain nameless for the purpose of this conversation. Mm -hmm. He's about to walk on the stage in the dressing room. His wife says the same thing. You're going to go out there I looking know. like that? <laughs> they had no that's, time to change. That's what started me on this whole thing. That kind of a thing. My sister says, I took her job, you know, after all. Mm -hmm. She said, she said, uh, you mean, I said, I'm going to be in the show tonight. I mean, really in the show, not just thing with the band. She said, yes. you're not. I said, well, I said, yes, sir, I think I am. This was in St. Louis at the Chase Hotel. She said, you mean you're going to go out... And, and sing by yourself out there on the stage and not just with the band? I said, yeah. She didn't know I'd been doing that for a couple of years in Steubenville and Wheeling. I hadn't seen her for a while, you know. Mm -hmm. And I said, yes. And she said, oh, you can't do that, honey. She said, don't. She said, please. She said, it'd be terribly embarrassing. Just sing with the band. Uh, wow. <laughs> and went out there and said, she told me I couldn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's very, right. <laughs> very often, members of your family who you would think would give you the greatest encouragement uh, don't do so. The only person who's ever given me any trouble at all has been her sister. <laughs> <laughs> she member of her she shall remain nameless or she's going to yeah. kill me. <laughs> we'll, we'll be right back uh, in time for the killing after this one. Oh, <laughs> should work closer to the airports thing. Uh, I live right at the airports. <laughs> That's exactly where I live. Make it easy. I haven't seen you in one airport this year. <laughs> you haven't been like this. this. No. I began to notice about, this is serious, about 12 years ago, everything went mm, as far as quality was concerned. Did you notice that? Yeah. Suddenly the airplanes were at the wrong time, your luggage didn't come upstairs, the bellboy fell out the window, whatever little <laughs> things happened. If he was there. Yeah, at all. I, was in I don't care if I did say it. Not too long ago in some little town, I'll put it that way, and <laughs> called down for the luggage. I had quite a bit of it because I was, was going out of the country from there. And they said, well, there's no bellboy. And I said, but I need, uh, you know, I've got all this luggage. And they said, well, we got a cart down here. You want to come down and get it? Uh, You're oh. kidding. You know, they say, no surprises. I wasn't surprised. I <laughs> <laughs> got the cart, that's all. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> wow. What would, what would be a typical... <laughs> The one who conducted uh, in the funniest fashion, uh, an orchestra leader that I ever saw, was Mal Hallett. He conducted this way. 
Piglet? Yes, remember Mal Hallett? Yes. No, I do. Oh, no, I remember Mal. Yeah, he couldn't swim. He was always starting to go, but he would never go in the pool. Afraid of the deep end. Well, that's my day, Mal Hallett and Hal Kemp and Harry Horlick and the A&P Gypsies. Austin Wiley. Did you know Austin Wiley? Austin Wiley is in what part of the country? Mostly around Cleveland, Ohio. That was a regional band. I didn't get over there. Yay! Ace Brigode, anybody? Sure. You remember Ace Sleepy Brigode. Hall? Sleepy Hall? Yeah. I sang with the best one, Larry Funk. That's right. That's right. Yeah, he's a him? funky guy, man. He's, uh, he got down. I fed you that. You didn't make much I of it. <laughs>